sonometer. The sonometer is an apparatus used to study the transverse vibrations of stretched strings. It is a hollow wooden rectangular box with two bridges and a pulley at one end. A string wire is attached to one end, run over the bridges and pulley and attached to a weight hanger hanging below the pulley. Here, we are using the sonometer to determine the frequency of alternating current. Theory When the length L of the sonometer wire vibrates with maximum amplitude, the frequency of the applied AC is equal to the natural frequency of the wire. Therefore, frequency of AC nu is equal to 1 by 2 L into root of T by M, where T is equal to Mg, the tension of the wire and M is the linear density of the wire. Therefore, nu is equal to 1 by 2 L into root of Mg by M that is equal to 1 by 2 into root of G by M into root of M by L square. M by L square is a constant. If R is the radius of the wire and rho is the density of its material, M is equal to pi R square rho. Materials required Sonometer Step down transformer Horseshoe magnet Weight hanger Set of slotted weights Paper rider Bridges Screw gauge Procedure Place the sonometer on the table Attach a weight hanger at the free end of the string which passes over the pulley. Stretch the wire by loading a suitable maximum mass on the weight hanger. The sonometer wire is connected to the secondary of the step-down transformer. The horseshoe magnet is mounted at the middle of the sonometer bed so as to produce a magnetic field perpendicular to the wire. The opposite poles of the magnet must face each other. The bridges are placed on either side of the magnet at equal distance from the magnet and are close to each other. A light paper rider is placed on the wire between the bridges of the sonometer. The AC supply is switched on. The wire begins to vibrate. The length of the wire between the two bridges is adjusted till the wire vibrates with maximum amplitude. At this stage, the paper rider placed on the wire falls which shows the condition of resonance. The length of the wire between the two bridges is measured. This is called the resonating length L. Then calculate the value of M by L square. Repeat the experiment for different loads and the average value of M by L square is found out. The linear density of the wire M can be calculated using the relation M is equal to pi R square rho where R is the radius of the wire which can be measured using the screw gauge. By knowing the linear density M of the wire, the frequency of AC means supply is calculated using the formula nu is equal to 1 by 2 into root of g by m into root of m by l square.